Hello and welcome to the Department of Automatic Control and Systems Engineering here at the University of Sheffield. We're one of the leading departments in this field. I'm Simon Pope and I'm the course director for the MSc in Advanced Control and Systems Engineering. I'm Roderick Rose, a senior lecturer and course director of the MSc in Computational Intelligence and Robotics. Hello, I'm Ashwin Mohamed Nazar and I'm from India. Having a bachelor's degree in electrical and electronics engineering from India, I'm presently doing an MSc in Advanced Control and Systems Engineering here at Sheffield. Once the students arrive in this department, there is an intro week that is organized here to bring them all together, they have a lunch, they get to know each other and also the academic member of staff. Then you will be allocated a personal tutor that will be there for you throughout the academic year to look at your progress, to, to, to help you, uh, to give you any sort of support yet you need. With the wind up of my bachelor's degree, as far as I was concerned, I had no second thought about what my next plan of action would be as I had an MSc offer from the University of Sheffield, the only university in Europe with a dedicated department catering to systems engineering, an area I always wanted to specialize in. The diversity that the university offers in terms of nationalities, cultures and disciplines is something that really caught my eyes as a fresher. The orientation week and the intro week with the host of activities catering to newcomers were great introductory sessions that gave me the perfect opportunity to blend with the life in Sheffield and more importantly gave me an opportunity to meet with peers from various disciplines with all of whom I keep in touch even today and the moments with them in my memories will always cherish as a fun part of Sheffield. For your time in Sheffield you'll learn in lots of different ways. You'll have lectures to help develop some of those core technical skills. You'll have labs where you can apply these to real world problems. You also have projects which are much more in-depth and you'll get to look at a much wider aspect of engineering. As well as the co uh, core technical skills, you'll be able to develop some of the key engineering skills that you need, such as group working, team working, project management and communication skills. Uh, the tutorials give you a number of interesting questions that help you to train your problem-solving skills and to apply all the knowledge that you have learned in the lecture. And then there are the hands-on laboratories where you work with exciting equipment in order to test things in practice. The learning experience has been phenomenal. With the best technical staff in the world, for top researchers and academicians, with profound knowledge in the area, with state-of-the-art equipment and facilities in place, and an excellent curriculum to base everything on, I think the degree is just top notch. As a student, you cannot ask for more. You'll be assessed based on assignments and laboratory-based tasks given as a part of your coursework and examinations that certainly evaluate the breadth of knowledge you acquire in that particular module. As part of your assessment here at Sheffield, you'll do an individual project which will be towards the end of the degree programme. It will be much more in-depth than some of the projects and labs you've done earlier. It will bring in all the different aspects of control and systems that you've learned. You'll work with a member of staff on something that's of interest to you and it can also be a project proposed by industry solving some of the problems they currently have. And for example, some of our current students are working with Rolls-Royce on problems to do with their gas turbine engines. As a part of the curriculum, you also have to complete an individual project and dissertation under the supervision of an allocated supervisor that gives you an opportunity to get a feel of the industrial scenario, apply the skills that you've acquired during the course and get to know more about the practical applications of systems engineering. In this department, we seek to um, develop the leaders of the future, whether in academia or industry. And these leaders ought to have very, very strong professional skills, including presentation skills and mentoring skills, etc. And to develop these skills, your personal tutor helps you. Uh, there is a seminars from industry uh, to give you an insight of what's going on in the outside world. And there is also an opportunity to um, shape the department itself through the staff the student committee. You can also engage in a lot of extracurricular activities such as the search and rescue robot competition that is held annually where students of all degree programs from undergraduate to PhD join to solve some very challenging tasks. Here at Sheffield we want to develop employable and successful graduates and one of the ways we do this is through a graduate employees workshop here in the department. During this we get former alumni and graduate employers to come and talk to our students, give mock interviews and help them develop all the different skills they need to successfully apply for jobs. In the department we value the opinions of our students. 
we try and use the students um, to help develop our courses and improve them further. And one of the ways we do this is through the staff student committee where we meet regularly with a mixture of staff and students and we discuss various issues and problems with the courses and help develop and improve them further. The support you get from the department as a student is just outstanding. Every student is allocated a personal tutor who not only keeps a track of your academic and professional development but also gives you advices on personal matters. Any member of staff is always willing to help you out with any of the queries you have. Apart from the career services activities run by the university, which every student should make use of, the department takes special initiative in running the Graduate Employment Careers Workshop, which gave me a better idea about employers, guidelines and branding yourselves, and about what to expect on the Assessment Center Day, and a lot more tips that have helped me to eventually find a job. The most striking part of the workshop is the perspective from employers about the expectations and a mock interview that all of us really learned from and equally enjoyed. We create graduates that go on to do a wide range of interesting things. Some of our graduates go and work in industry um, and a wide range of different industries such as aerospace through so companies such as Rolls Royce, automotive with companies such as Jaguar Land Rover and then the other huge range of multinational companies such as Unilever and IBM. Alternatively, some of our students go on to study for a PhD and eventually they become world leaders in a particular field. And some have even stayed on in the department and are now academics. Once you have finished your degree, you become part of the Sheffield Alumni. And as such, the university and also the department will stay in touch with you. And uh, this could be via LinkedIn, via email and many other ways. And uh, we are very keen also to um, take your opinion on board when you have left, for example, your industry, you could maybe join our industrial advisory committee, visit Sheffield from time to time, and tell us how you have progressed in your career. A fair share of my course mates, including me, are already sorted with regards to getting jobs. I got into Arab with their intelligent transport systems team to be based in Solihull. Also, I'm looking forward to associate with the department in the future, both with projects that Arab does in conjunction with the department and perhaps even serve on the Industrial Advisory Board as an ACSE alumni to provide an employer's perspective that can further aid the department in enhancing the employability of our students. Thank you for watching and hopefully we'll see you in the new academic year.